we the people got to open our eyes, open our wallets, stand at your polling stations and make sure that they're not cheating us again. I mean, you're talking to probably the number one Trump guy. I mean, I probably put a million dollars into Trump, but I don't, I've never made a cash donation. Wow. I drive this bus around as a rolling billboard. It's my part-time Harvey. I go to rallies. I meet great people. I give out free stuff. Have you seen a return on that million dollars? Or is it like you're, you've sunk it into Trump? I sunk it into, you know, taking this bus off the road for almost eight years. Wow. When I talk to people and I say, you're much better off now than you were during Trump. Well, just think about one thing, not all the other things. I've lost three businesses during this bullshit. I had four businesses. I'm down to this business, my bus business. My bus business during COVID, I almost lost my bus business. I lost three other businesses. I had a restaurant for 25 years. Biden shut that down. I'm sorry to hear Everything me. three times more expensive. Trump is in jail. Next election, do you still vote for him? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll even send him 50 bucks for his bond. Damn. Yep. He's a billionaire, though. You could give him money? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And just like right now, they're trying to take his business license away from him in New York. Why, ain't, why aren't we taking away the business licenses from all the Democrats that we know are corrupt? This bus hadn't made a penny. So you could be a million dollars. You could be a lot richer than you yes. are. Yes, I could. But I do it for my kids, man. Yeah. Do you think the election was stolen? Yes. Interesting. What's your biggest piece of evidence for that? My evidence would be... Um, Biden with 12 people at a rally, Trump with 60,000 people at a rally. My evidence would be that. I, I don't want to go on some conspiracy theory stuff. I've seen all the court stuff. I've seen all the, the crazy stuff that, that they're, they're saying. But uh, I, do, I did talk to a guy the other day that said they, they're still trying to fight this unfolded battle thing in Georgia. I don't, I don't know about all that. I just, I just think in my heart. What about you? You think it was stolen? No, and can I tell you why? Yeah. So after the election, Trump brought 61 different court cases across the country, and every single one was rejected. A lot of these judges were appointed by Donald Trump himself. They were Republicans, and they said, hey, man, there's not enough evidence for this. He continued to double down, and then people around him, like Mike Pence, people like Bill Barr, like, do you trust Bill Barr at all? or Mike Pence, like these people have worked in politics their whole life, which I guess I, that makes them not trustable, but they know how things work. They kept saying, you gotta stop spreading this lie about election fraud. And Trump even hired a firm called Cyber Ninjas to do forensic analysis, and they said there's no election fraud, so he said you're fired, basically. Them documents are gonna show, and they're gonna be able to prove, because that was his whole plan, is to get them documents brought into court so that they can't throw them out and show the, the treasonous acts that they've been doing. So you think Trump hid documents in Mar-a-Lago so that those documents could be entered into the court? Yes. Right? Interesting. Yes. I haven't heard that one. Yes. Well, if they're going to charge Trump, why aren't they going to charge Biden? For what? For all the documents that he had in the garage, yeah, but... in his pool house, in his bathroom. He gave it immediately to authorities. Trump kept it for over a year, the documents that he had, the boxes. his presidential executive right. No, these were documents that he was not supposed to have, though. Do you know that? Yeah, that's why they're no, being... That's they're I don't being. believe that. I don't believe that. I think them documents that he had, and this is my personal opinion, oh, yeah, course, I respect you. you know, this is my personal opinion, them are documents that he had to be able to prove what's going on. Yeah. After all of this stuff happened, it just seems like the evidence is not there. There's a specific example in Georgia where apparently they pull suitcases out, if you ever heard of that, and um, they brought that to the court, and when the court looked at it, they realized this was cut out of context. Like, you know how liberals always cut Let Trump? Let me ask you one thing. Yeah, now, of course. You, you've heard of common sense, right? Of course. Okay. How did the five states that Trump was leading in by hundreds of thousands of votes all of them shut down at the same time. All five states that Trump lost shut down. Georgia being one of them. You know Georgia shut down. Well, from my understanding, Trump wanted to stop counting no, in states no, where no, he was ahead. And he, he, he said, stop counting, stop the count, but he wanted to keep counting in states where he was behind. Oh, no, no, yeah. no, 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 you're totally wrong on that, man. The five states that, George, that Trump lost in quit counting. Georgia quit counting because of a, a flood at the dome is that right i thought this was debunked see no you know brad raffensperger the secretary of state of I georgia work brad Ra I, I help him get elected do you trust him not really i don't think i would trust him anymore no really so he he did three recounts of all five million votes and a risk limiting audit 
which is basically where you recount every single ballot and make sure. And they said there was no. I man, I, I I can't answer none of these questions. I'm not. I just know what I know. What's going to stop Democrats from stealing the next election if they stole the last one? How how are you going to stop that from happening? Everybody, everybody, go to your polls. Watch your polls. No more of these stupid boxes that we can all bring a suitcase of ballots in and stuff them in the box, and we can take them from New York to New Jersey, to North Carolina, to Georgia, all the way down to Arizona, carrying suitcases full of ballots. We the people got to open our eyes, open our wallets, stand at your polling stations and make sure that they're not cheating us again. And, and we all know that old Biden, he did not get a record number of votes. So. Right after the election, Trump brought everything you're talking about, not only the Dominion cases, but the cases of the box, two different courts. A lot of these yes. courts had Trump appointed judges. Yeah. Every single court rejected the evidence and said that it's not, not true at all. So how do you reconcile that? How do I reconcile that? Because we know the truth. We've seen it on videos. The Democrat courts have packed the courts to where they don't want to see it. Here's the thing with the videos. You know how oftentimes Democrats can take videos out of context? Exactly. So sometimes it feels like Republicans did the exact same thing. Because have you ever seen the clip of the ballot boxes being slid out from under the table? Yes. Do you remember what happened when they brought that to court? No, I do not. They brought that to court. And right when the judge looked at the full footage of the day, all 12 hours of what happened, he realized that those ballots were placed earlier that day by the Republican and Democrat poll workers. They're completely legitimate ballots. So there's a problem arises when you take these five second clips and you try to use that as evidence. And when you look at all 12 hours, you realize the evidence is nullified. So I'm just wondering, have you ever thought of it like? Well, I have, but I also watched the movie 2000 Mules. Yeah. And, and that exposes a lot that nobody wants to even talk about. Yeah. I've seen 2,000 Mules too, and a lot of the evidence in there is just regurgitated stuff from the court cases that Trump lost. But we know that Biden didn't get over 2 million votes. And when, when they started deducting votes from, from him. Did that happen? Yes, they did. We all watched it at 3 o'clock in the morning. They started deducting votes. Nobody, once you count the votes, you don't deduct them. Well, we knew mail-in ballots were going to come in a few days later and be overwhelmingly Democrat, right? Correct. So when those... Because that's how they cheated. No, it was yeah, because of... that's how they cheated. It was because of COVID. A lot of Democrats sent... A lot of Republicans sent mail-in ballots, too. Biden and Democrats introduced the border bill like a month ago, and 17,000 border agents endorsed it. It was a strong border bill, but Trump told Congress to shoot it down. How did that make you feel? Well, I think he said to shoot it down. Did he, what, what reason would he say to shoot it down? Because they added all the hundred billion to go to Ukraine. I'm gonna have to check that on you because I, I have not heard one border agent say that. Could you show me that online real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show me that because the bottom line is this here. Is that the is that the one where they were saying five thousand a day could come through? Um, the here's what here's what I'm gonna tell you about that. You don't even have to show me that. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna tell you about that. Donald Trump has proved, proven to me that he loves America. He loves his children. And he, he has no reason to do what he's doing other than the love for America. 